we do is we'll go ahead and take, uh, attach a swivel to the eye of the hook and I've just taken a, a regular swivel and I cut off the little uh, ball joint thingies there uh, and this is what we'll connect it to the main fly. So this is the trailer fly. I'm just going to start out dressing the hook with some thread and I use the uh, GSP. This is 100 denier in black and I'm going to go down to the bend of the hook. Now this is my little variation here. I'm going to take some pearl braid and I'll dress that, the whole hook here with the pearl braid. Then we'll go ahead and tie off and cut. Okay, next thing I want to do is get my rabbit strip, and this is a cross cut, or this is a regular, not cross cut, rabbit strip, which is going to be the body. Now, the way that these are traditionally done is on the underside, and so what I usually do is I look at how much I want to have, and I just usually go one uh, extra length of the body, and then judging by the middle of that, I'm going to go ahead and puncture, and you just got to take that out of your vise real quick. Slap it back in. And then I'm just going to flip this over. Again, it's nice to have a rotary vise. And it's easiest if you do this after you wet your fingers. Preen back some of those fibers and then I'm going to tie this in at the eye of the hook. And I personally like to tie it off in front, so you got to get this guy out of the way. And then tie that and whip finish. Okay, now we will move on to the main part of the fly. All right, the main part of the fly, we're going to start with a Tiemco 9395, and this is a size 4. So what, what I usually do is I pair this size 4 with my B10S size 4 stinger hook that I just tied this other one on. So if I want to go a bigger one, I'll go a bigger streamer hook, bigger stinger hook. And so what I'll do here is grab my wire cutters now you can what we're going to do is clip this hook bend this hook off at the bend so it just creates a straight shank. You can do this after you tie the fly but I found it to be easier to tie if you've got this gone. So we're just going to go ahead and clip this guy off and put on our bead like so and just put this into the vise right there at the tip. And we're ready to go. The first thing that we do here is I'm going to throw on a little bit of lead. I like to put lead to give it some extra weight, but it also will jam the uh, bead or the cone into the eye of the hook and keep it more secure. So we're just going to put this lead or this non lead wire in place and just shove that up in there. Now we'll just go ahead and start our thread and I'll just lay some thread into that that's a further secure the lead. Alright once we have that we're going to make our way back to the end and I'll grab my wire connector. What I use is this is beater's wire, it's called Beetalon, it's 19 strand. This is silver, it doesn't matter the color necessarily. So I'm going to grab a little bit of this and I grab my stinger hook and I just take my wire and thread the end of the swivel, double the wire back over on itself and I want this swivel to start right at the very very end of where I've got this 
uh, hook clipped. And I leave the wire a little longer so that I can tie that up and secure it very firmly up and down the length of the hook. Now this, the thing I like about using the swivel, this is very free swinging because it's got two pivot points as opposed to one thing that you tie onto the trailer and uh, the main hook. It's a lot, lot more movement in the water than you get with a typical trailer uh, hook setup, like if you used uh, Darlon or 30 or 30 pound mono or whatever. Okay, once we've got that, then I'm going to go ahead and bring over the rabbit strip. Now, sometimes it helps, especially so you don't uh, jab yourself to secure that in your material clip. The Griffin's got a really awesome material clip here that can be adjusted. And so then I am going to work my way to the midpoint of the hook and bring my uh, rabbit strip down and again wet your fingers if you have to and you want to tie that in making sure that you've uh, kind of stretched that out to as far as it's going to go and tie that in right there. Now this one doesn't have to be super pretty because we're going to go over it with some cross cut here in a second. So tie that off, make sure it's really straight, uh, secured. And okay, now we're going to grab some cross cut rabbit strips. These are cut uh, perpendicular to the way the zonker style ones are, are done. And this is good so that you can wrap and that the hairs will all go in one direction as opposed to out uh, perpendicular from the the skin. So I'm just going to grab a length, and I usually like to grab a length on these about equal to the length of the whole uh, kit and caboodle there. And just cut that off. And you need to make sure that when you tie this in that it's going in the direction where it's going to be back. And so that's the direction I need. And we'll just go ahead and tie that in the tip. Secure that. And I'm going to work my thread forward. And then just simply give the crosscut rabbit a few wraps until I'm up at the bead or the cone. And you want this cone, or you want the material to end right at the cone so that you can tie it. And that way when you cut that off, it goes right into the cone up underneath. A little too much rabbit strip that time. And if I yank that down, that's the nice thing about these cones, it'll suck it down into the, the fly there. Okay, so now that I've got that, another wrap or two to make sure it's in there. And if it's not, you can also use your thumbnail or something to get that in there better. Now, I'm going to flip this over, and I will add some white. And this is just zonked uh, rabbit strip again. So the same as the stuff that I went on the back of the fly. And I want this to be about the length of the uh, where the pearl braid ends. So I don't want them exactly the same length. but uh, And it's going to be on the opposite side that we have the uh, other rabbit strip. And again, give that a couple of nice tugs in the end of the material will pull down into the inside of that cone nice and cleanly. Okay, the final step here is we're just going to take some of this big nice tinsel, mylar tinsel stuff, and about two strips per side. So I'm going to cut four strips and I want this to go the length of the fly. And we'll just go ahead and tie them in on the sides, two per side. And once those are in there, we'll go ahead and whip finish. And that will be it. There's our Dalai Lama.